I'm Gina Curry. And I'm Jerry Bryan. Up next on Behind the Miles. It's the song that signifies student accomplishment. We'll tell you why it also means mission accomplished for the first public school program of its kind. But first, we're going to take you to a house that's transformed its residents. The house is called Joe's Place, and it's drawing national attention for its success. As you know, a lot of families have lost their homes in this current economy. Reporter Angie Weidiger found this unique public school program is needed now more than ever. Happiness, ah. relief, excitement, all feelings often found at a graduation. And while those emotions were definitely running through Fred, Jeff, and Stephen on this day, there was something else they hadn't felt before. The best feeling I've ever felt. Confidence. I feel like a million bucks, so, you know, I finally did it, and it feels great. Better than I thought it was going to feel. Super happy. The only way to understand the true significance of this day for Fred, Jeff, and Stephen is to take you back to here. This is called Joe's Place, but those teen boys turned graduates called it home at the time they were considering giving up on school. I came here because uh, I was having family problems. We stayed in hotels for a little while. My dad was abusive, so it was really rough. So then my mom finally decided to move out of the area. I ended up like sleeping on the couches of like different other people's houses and like they weren't in like a better situation than I was and they didn't always have food. So like some nights I might not have ate dinner. My situation at home is uh, we ain't got no food there for real and nobody looking out for us. We basically on our own. By state standards, all three of these teens were homeless and dropout risks. Didn't really care about school at the time. So coming into the year, I thought I was a nobody and I didn't, you know, didn't want to try because, you know, my family situation, you know, I want to drop out. Before I came here, I was uh, doing bad, uh, had a lot of bad grades. And more and more teens are facing those challenges, not just in the Maplewood Richmond Heights School District, but nationwide. Statistics show families with school aged children are the fastest growing population of homeless people in the country, and at least half of homeless students will eventually drop out of school. Okay. Even with that growing problem, Vince Estrada, who's the director of student services at Maplewood Richmond Heights, couldn't find any public school districts in the country with innovative programs to stabilize homeless students like Fred, Jeff, and Stephen and help them graduate. So the district created its own. So by September of 06, we had established a not-for-profit. We had a house. <laughs> I mean, it was, we were like, oh my gosh, this is really happening, right? Funded in large part by an anonymous donor named Joe, Joe's Place officially opened in January 2007 with room for four teenage boys, a segment of the population the district found needed the most help when it came to homelessness. Joe's Place requires the district to spend about $30,000 a year on the mortgage, insurance, and utilities. Estrada says that's a bargain if you consider the public costs of a dropout. Particularly around the issues of underemployment and, and, and crime. And if you look at the percentage of students, the percentage of inmates in male prisons that don't have high school degrees is going to be far exceed the national average. Thank you so much. We'll see ya. The community supports Joe's Place too. It smells good, guys. Donating food and money to pay for house supplies and a stipend for the house parents. Dan, who's a teacher at Maplewood Richmond Heights, and his wife, Alyssa. They moved here when their son Carter was just seven months old, all because they believed in this program. To show, you know, the world that it's worth, you know, these boys are worth something, it's worth to, to fight for them and, you know, to put them in a place where um, they could be, they could be successful and they could be complete, you know, and full humans. Dan and Alyssa's compassion isn't lost on these four boys, all who live here voluntarily during the school week. The best part of being at Joe's Place is the love that like Dan and Alyssa show towards us because like even though we're not like their like real children, but like we are their children, like they look at us as like sons, so I really like that. I don't really have a good relationship with my dad. It's cool to have, you know, Dan. He's more like, he's like my big brother. It's kind of fun sometimes we wrestle, play catch. Helps me out with my papers. The teen boys credit this house. 
the love inside of it, and even the lessons and chores they had to go through here, with not only keeping them in school, but helping them to excel at it. I got a, uh, like, uh, I guess it's a valedictorian of your class for uh, stats. Steven had a 3.6 GPA his senior year. It really helped me mature a lot, like doing, because when you're here at Joe's place, a lot, I mean, they are here to help you, but there's a lot of like strive for you to like do things on your own. Jeff was able to hold down a job and keep his grades up. When I get on the track and stuff, I, I had a good meal. And, um, it kept me run faster. Uh, I had like a lot of energy. Fred became a record breaker in track, winning four gold medals at the state meet. Yeah! All of those accomplishments and struggles paved their way to here. Steven. Jeffrey Hart. Woo! Jeffrey Michael Enzer. Woo! Fred Taylor. Yeah! Where they became the first success stories of Joe's place. Um, just to see all that they've that they've done is huge. But Alyssa and Dan know their work isn't done. These house parents already have a new Joe's Place class, which includes Fred's younger brother Tyree. Plus, schools around the country are now contacting them to learn how to emulate this program. Having brought three boys to, to the end, so to speak, is just really exciting. And the, just to, the, the opportunity we can continue to provide for boys is just exciting. And don't think this is the end of the accomplishments for these confident graduates. All of them are headed to college. I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm like, super excited. I want to keep doing better and better things. This is, this is just the beginning. This is, you know, this is, a, you know, chapter two of my life, so. I'm ready to start it. For Behind the Minds, I'm Angie Weidinger. To learn more about Joe's Place, go to our website at hectv.org.